shown here just wanted to share this little royal treat with you because as we often do break big news and all sorts of stuff it's nice to have the more so we say refined stories isn't it you know i like to listen to those myself now i don't know if you were aware or you haven't seen it but obviously the eurovision song contest has just concluded yes we came second to bottom not particularly a great result for the united kingdom of course we've enjoyed spectacular years many many years ago of course Bob's fizz nikki french with don't play that song again a particular favorite of mine rock bottom with mike moran and lindsay DePaul. sadly i think we were nearly rock bottom and boom bang a bang with lulu can't forget that can we but of course the big spectacular star of the eurovision song contest to many people which was held in liverpool at the behest of of course ukraine who couldn't host it this year was this that's right the gorgeous princess of wales playing the piano once again in fact it was the song of ukraine i thought it was a magnificent performance now this apparently was filmed in the crimson ballroom or the crimson room out at windsor castle in a beautiful jenny packham dress i just thought she looked brilliant you cannot take a bad picture of this particular lady can you talented beautiful and caring too and i'm not just gushing you know you can just tell when you meet these people lovely lovely lady but what I did find out by talking to a close very source uh, to the Princess of Wales is not only is she an accomplished pianist, but can play a couple of other instruments too, although she would say not as well. But what I do like about this particular story is, as we know, in the final years uh, of our late and beautiful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, you know, she went through some rather difficult times. The sad loss of her husband, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, really hit her hard. Let's not forget, she liked so many people around the world, she picked up COVID. Then she was in that COVID bubble, remember? Everything really was quite negative, wasn't it, for all of us? But wasn't it nice, or should I say, isn't it nice to find out that Catherine, who became such a good close companion of the Queen in those final few months, would pop over just to play the piano for the Queen because the Queen liked music and she liked the tunes that Catherine picked out and played. Very gently, you know, sometimes having a bit of a nod off in the afternoon that's a snooze in case you don't know or asleep <laughs> these expressions i have to explain them you know and when somebody told me that i thought it's a really nice beautiful story because it's all about really reaching out and looking after people isn't it you know if you're on your own it can be that phone call it can be that dedication on the radio that you're listening to of course you know many people will say that catherine and the queen live very privileged lives and they'd be the first to admit it but it's the gentle things in life isn't it that people reach out to do for each other. Catherine, a busy mum of three, possibly always didn't have the time, but it's something that she wanted to do. And isn't it nice to know that even though she was playing on the world stage at the Eurovision Song Contest, very quietly, succinctly, and without fanfare, she went along to play the piano for Her Majesty the Queen on days when she just simply wanted cheering up. Now, couldn't we all do with a friend like that from time to time? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.